Now this is one of the smartest things Nintendo could add to the Wiimote. By adding the connector plug to the bottom of the remote, it allowed a whole variety of controllers to piggyback off of the original Wiimote. At the time, I really wasn't a fan of it because it was like having a wired controller when we were all used to wireless, but it actually kept the cost down on the secondary controllers because they didn't have to build the wireless capability into the controller itself. By allowing the Wii Remote to handle all the wireless capabilities, these controllers actually came out pretty cheap, and to me, that was well worth the trade-off.